Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel ESP Daniela. So for today's video, as you can probably tell from this title, I will be sharing with you all how to win scholarships that pay off student loan debt. Now you're probably wondering what? I didn't even know that that existed. Is this even possible? Well, let me plug in right here. This student who recently notified me that she was able to win a scholarship that fully paid off her student loan. And there are other opportunities just like this one that can help with that. So let's get into this video. So first and foremost, make sure to go to the link in my description box down below showing some scholarships that help pay off student loan debt. Um, preferably don't download the Google document into a PDF, just have it open like favorited on your on your laptop because I am constantly updating that list as I find more and more opportunities. Now, as far as how to go about these applications, a lot of times with student loan debt uh, scholarships, they require a video submission over an essay. So you really need to have a strong on-camera presence and this is something that can be built. I literally mentor and coach people on how to go about this process via my personalized consultation service that I have. Again, I will link that down in the description box down below. And as an example of this, that student that I mentioned earlier who won the Student Loan Debt Forgiveness Scholarship, it required a video submission. And another example of this outside of the context of Student Loan Forgiveness Scholarships, I mainly help people with like normal scholarships for undergrad, graduate school. So for example, this student right here, uh, his name is Chris. He was able to win an $100,000 scholarship from Dr. Pepper. And for context, this scholarship was highly competitive. It had a little over 110,000 people applying. And there is a specific section um, within my book and my online course, especially that goes deep into detail on how to effectively go about a video application because it's similar to an essay, but it has different different requirements that you really need to look for. So the next tip I have is to study the execution of past scholarship winners for that particular scholarship. So sometimes when it comes to scholarships, they will have publicly on their website um, the winning essay or the winning video from that person or people who were uh, chosen for that particular opportunity. So if you can come across that, um, take note of how they start off their video or their essay, how they conclude their essay or video. And if they don't have that publicly seen on their website, you can try an email or DM that person um, via social media. If that particular scholarship has listed out like all the people who won their first and last name as well as their university, it can be very easy to find that person like on LinkedIn and then DM them from there, set up like a five to 15 minute Zoom call just to get some insider tips on how to go about the application process um, and then go from there. Or better yet, when you are setting up these calls with these people, um, asking with their permission if they could share with you their winning essay or their winning video so you can analyze it from there. The next piece of advice that I have for you is that with your application, you don't want to sound too much like a sob story. See, there is a very common misconception that in order to win scholarships for college, or in this case, for student loan debt, you have to talk about very traumatic or very sensitive uh, topics. Now, of course you can, but that should not be the overall essence of your, your writing, your video. There needs to be something much more to that, like how you are able to triumph over that, or perhaps how you are currently trying to overcome that challenge in your life. Another thing that can help with student loan debt forgiveness scholarships is to state in your application how you have already made an effort to pay off some of that, because that shows that you have already taken somewhat of an initiative to make that change. Another thing to consider having within your video is discussing how, how long, how lengthy your education is. So by this, I mean, let's say, you not only have debt for undergrad, but also grad school and getting your PhD and all that. And so by stating that with the student loan debt scholarship, it would be able to offset some, if not all of those expenses. And um, as far as if you can apply for them, even after you have graduated college, in some cases, yes, yes, you can. For example, the one that I personally give out. Oh, and by the way, the amount of money for the student loan debt scholarship I give out increases the more I get 
in book sales and online course sales, both of which are titled The Scholarship Algorithm Detailing My Step-by-Step -step Process to Winning 30 Scholarships Debt-Free for Undergrad and Grad School. So if you are interested in that, do make sure to get that for yourself or someone else alike who you know could really benefit from it. My goal is to get into school districts across the U.S. because there are so many schools that simply do not teach people financial literacy, and it is sad, and I'm trying to be the change to reverse that. And speaking of financial literacy, um, if you are someone who advocates consistently for financial literacy within your community or those around you, that might also be something to consider um, stating within your application or your video, because then that shows that you are like-minded to your audience, because for them to be giving out this student loan debt forgiveness scholarship in the first place it ties into financial literacy. So the next tip I have for you all is to thoroughly read the eligibility requirements as well as the terms and conditions of the scholarship. So typically when you're on a scholarship website, it'll have the eligibility already shown as soon as you scroll down through the title of that particular award, but then the terms and conditions um, you'll have to go to like an external link to read through that. But make sure that you do. And when you do that, uh, use control find or command find on your keyboard to automatically find the keyword judging uh, for judging criteria. Because when you look at that specific section, if they have it there in the terms and conditions, normally they do have it. And that will give you insider tips on what the judges are looking for what they prefer to see in applicants in their applications. For example, when I researched the terms and conditions of the judging criteria for that scholarship I mentioned earlier, that one of my students was able to win to pay off her student loans, the judging criteria stated that they were looking for perseverance, aspiration, authenticity, and passion. So you have to make sure that your application encompasses all four of those elements, like the avatar. You can't just have three or two get out of all of it. Now, as for the last and final tip for this video, I believe we're at number 10. Seek professional guidance, professional help, whether that's setting up a Zoom call with me to get consultation on how your video looks, um, whatever it may be, because there are certain things within our scholarship applications that the average person who does not know how to win scholarships in the first place simply will not be able to identify on their own. So they need extra help. Um, I have had so many students of where they apply for over a hundred scholarships and they can never win. And then they booked a call with me or they bought my book or enrolled in my online course and they were finally able to win and graduate debt-free. So if you need help, please do look into my personalized services. I am here to help. I've been helping people win scholarships for, gosh, nearly five years now because I started in 2017. And that's all that I have for today's video. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any comments, feel free to put that in the comment section down below or email me and we can book a call. Bye.